Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay, guys, Mr. Popsit here, Greg Lynch, Stern PA, and we have a very common occurrence. You can see the outpooching on this knuckle here, and this is something we see all the time called a mixoid cyst. And you can see it's kind of lifted up. These can be painful, not always, but the bigger they get, the more painful they can get. So we're going to do a little numbing on the outside here, and it's just a little 11 blade cut. And the numbing will allow us to cauterize a little bit there, which should kind of shrink that joint protrusion back down into the joint. These can refill sometimes. Sometimes we have to do two or three, um, but this will make it feel better right away. And you'll see this kind of white, almost clear, viscous, um, very sticky, and it's what lines our joints that comes out. Um, so we'll see that, and then it should retract back in. So thanks to her for sharing. We'll be right back when we got her all prepped and ready. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of numbing. We go very slow, the fingers are sensitive. A little pinch, sorry, right there. And I slowly infuse in some lidocaine in this area. Deep breaths. And a little bit up here. So with mixoid cysts, trauma can also cause it so you shut your finger in a door or somebody you know you get hit even sometimes like a splinter that causes inflammation you can start to get that but i would say the number one reason we see for this is some arthritis some inflammation in the joint and then that's what causes it to come out like this one more pinch here sorry on this side doing okay good okay. go very slowly you can drain these without lidocaine because the skin is so thin right there at the surface. However, I like to do a little cautery. It tends to lessen the potential for regrowth. So you got to be numb for the cautery. That would hurt. Very good. You can see we got good blanching all the way around. Feel anything right there? A little bit or no? Yeah. Okay. A little on the lower side. Perfect. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is just a little poke right in that where that thin skin is. And you'll see right there. Here it comes, you can see how viscous that is it kind of holds on and we press from different angles you don't get a ton but we'll get that little gel pocket and this is very sticky stuff clear it looks good no infection or anything like that once we get the gel out there'll be a little bleeding at the bottom usually and that's coming out nice and you'll see the bump start to retract and go back down a little bit now she probably has some inflammation from arthritis, so it's not gonna go down all the way, but that little bump right at the surface is what we're looking at. As long as she can handle a little pressure, I'm gonna come from each angle here. Good. And you'll see it'll start blowing bubbles because it's kinda, it gets air in that pocket where the gel was. And that's what we're gonna close that pocket with the cautery. Doing okay pain-wise? Good. Almost like milking the wound here. We just push from every angle a little bit more of that gel. Right there, very good. Okay, we will put a little pressure bandage on here because these try to bleed a little bit and that keeps that depressed. So I'm gonna do some cautery and then we'll be done. So I like to push everything out there and then we're just gonna cauterize right there. Top. It's gonna look like a little cigarette burn. 
and I'm trying to get that kind of inner capsule in there to collapse on itself. So I go right at the tip there. If you start to feel any pain, let me know you shouldn't though. There we go. And then that pressure bandage will stop the rest. Um, and the bleeding stops actually pretty quickly, but I've got that pocket I can see to collapse, so that's what we wanted. One little vessel at the top there. Good. Okay. So, thanks to her for sharing. That's an interesting one. Um, these aren't usually all that painful. Um, you can come up here. They're not all that painful once we do the procedure. Anything on a knuckle that bends, you know, we want to minimize kind of making a fist a lot in the first day or two because as that scab heals, it'll crack it open. So keeping a little bit of Vaseline will help keep it so it flexes a little more. Pressure bandage we're going to put on, um, kind of wrap around there. We keep on for 24 to 48 hours, and that just helps with the bleeding to stop. And the downward pressure also helps so it doesn't, that viscous gel doesn't try to refill. They can refill if they do, we do it again. The most I've ever had to do one is four times. Two times is about 50% of the time. Um, the other 50, usually they're gone in one. So we'll kind of monitor it and see. We do see these quite often. Thanks for sharing and thanks for popping by.